This is the Daymac Florence. I was excited to review it because there don't seem to be too many electric tricycles like this and it could be really great for someone who maybe has balance issues or is looking for a little bit more utility with this basket. Um, it's not the most affordable electric bike out there. It's about $2,000 and uh, for that money, you're getting a 500 watt internally geared hub motor on the front. It's a little bit easier to work with up there. You know, there's a single wheel versus two. And, you know, if one of these wheels was turning and not the other, you could kind of have some steering issues. So, I, you know, a lot of trikes tend to have that front motor mount. Um, you know, we've got a 48 volt, 12 amp hour lithium ion battery and it's positioned really well right behind that saddle. There's even like this little flip up lever so that if you want to take the battery off, you know, there's this handle and everything you can do so. And that's really nice. That's good weight distribution right there. It frees up the basket, keeps the basket a little bit lower to the ground, which is nice. And in general, um, these, these wheels, they're 24 by 1.75, right, on the back and 26 by 1.75 on the front. And by having smaller wheels on the back, again, lower center of gravity, um, just a little bit more torque when you're pedaling, right? Because you're not having to turn quite as wide of a diameter. So I like that. And I also like the fenders front and rear with these nice mud flaps. I think this comes in blue and silver and possibly black. I think there's a third color, um, but just, you know, sharp looking. It's a nice bike. Uh, one of the complaints I had, however, was kind of the, dr the drum brakes on this at the rear. So you can see these, when you pull this lever right here, um, actually it's, it's the left lever on the front. When you pull that, it cuts power to the motor, which is great for safety, but it's, it's kind of difficult. You know, I really had to squeeze hard and it, you know, pulls on this lever right here. And then these kind of calipers expand and rub on the outside of, of this, this disc here. So, uh, you know, they just don't stop you as well. In general, I've tried drum brakes on other electric bikes before. It's a cheaper solution, not my favorite. And so I was really glad that they had kind of a traditional V-brake on the front. And the front brake is what gives you most of your stopping power anyway. And with this bike, you're, you're not prone to like, you know, flipping over the handlebars. You're not gonna be going that fast. I think the top speed's maybe up to like 12, 15 miles per hour uh, assisted. So, you know, it, it's a stable platform. It's one that's going to give you a, probably a little bit better range because you're going a little bit slower. But then again, it's fairly heavy. This is like 90 plus pounds. Um, and I think the maximum weight they've talked about is 300 pounds. So maybe it's like a 250 pound passenger or 50 pounds of cargo. Um, I don't know, kind of keep that in mind. I love that they've actually got gears down here. So you can see it's a six speed cassette. We've got a basic Shimano Turney TX derailleur. Uh, definitely entry level, but sometimes entry level is a little bit more durable. You might just have to oil it and keep it, uh, you know, keep it clean-ish. Uh, Daymax a Canadian company and you get snowy and potentially get salt and stuff on this So just kind of keeping it clean over time is gonna help extend the life I like that it has a chain cover though so that you don't get your pants and stuff dirty And then we've got these folding pedals, which I think are completely unnecessary for a trike It's not like you're gonna fold this up. They're probably just cheaper. They, they're not gonna give you quite as much uh, stiffness, you know, they might bend a little bit more than, than metal, but they should do the job. Uh, again, it's just to kind of keep that cost low, I think. The seat can be adjusted in terms of height, but you're going to need some tools. There's really no quick release on this bike. Uh, it's kind of like you set it up once and then that's, that's it, um, unless you've got tools. I do love that the wires are run through the frame, though. We've got these nice sort of swept back handlebars. They aren't too wide. Um, they, they're not going to make you lean forward, so it is comfortable. And these nice I don't know, it's Shimano uh, SIS, kind of a thumb shifter. I always comment on this being a, a decent choice for people who are wearing gloves because you know the buttons are really big, they're right there. So again, this is easy to use. And I like that it's got kind of the bell and stuff built in for a little bit of a, kind of a, hey, how's it going? Heads up, I'm on my way, kind of a signal. I like that and it's a really friendly sounding one. And then we've just got this really basic LED display. So it's kind of showing your battery capacity and then a front basket as well. So this thing is just, it's loaded. Um, you know, I have seen some of these trikes with like a backrest and stuff. There, there are other things you can do to kind of tune this up if you want to, but for the most part, you know, you've, you've kind of got everything that you need. Um, but do keep in mind, I mean, I, in my opinion, it's a little bit more expensive at two grand. Plus if you're in Canada, it's a couple hundred dollars shipping. And then you've got this like hundred pound box and you know, you're going to, you're going to have to do some configuring, I suppose. In the US, it might be $350 or even $400 to have this shipped. 
Uh, can't say for sure. I, their warranty, it's about a year for the frame, for the motor, and then every other component and stuff, you get about six months. So it's not the, the biggest warranty, the longest warranty I've heard of, but it's better than nothing. And I like that they've got this, this light too. I think if you click that, yeah, we got some LED lights going on. Just on the front though, I didn't, uh, didn't see a light on the back, just these kind of like reflectors going on. And also it seems like in order to use this bike, you've got to leave the keys in, sort of the older battery style. Here's the charging port right there. And we've got the little LED power indicator. So, you know, decent. Oh yeah, and I should show you the cadence sensor. It's kind of tucked away down there. I think it's just like a five or six magnet. So it's not the most responsive, but this motor isn't the most powerful either. So for what it is, it does a decent job. I think overall, I'd like to see this be like a little bit cheaper, but you know, there aren't really very many to choose from and given the weight and stuff um, and some of the extras, I mean, I think that maybe that's what they have to charge. Here's the brake lever I was talking about on the left. It's mechanical and it's just, I feel myself really having to kind of squeeze to activate those drum brakes in the rear. It does have the motor inhibitor on both levers though, which is good. And then here on the right, just so much easier. I can even squeeze it with like one finger and that's doing these V brakes down here. Love that. And then we've got these semi ergonomic grips and then just a twist throttle. So be careful because if you're getting on this bike and you twist it, it could take off on you. It just goes immediately. And pedal assist is the same way. Like as soon as you start pedaling the bike, uh, it just starts, the motor kicks in, but it's relatively smooth. You know, it's, again, it's not the most powerful motor. There you go. A little bit rattly with some of the extras on the bike. Yeah, I definitely like that front brake uh, the best. It's giving you good stopping power that way. Kind of see the basket and everything. It's a nice bike. Try those drum brakes. Uh, oh. See, they're not stopping me. I'm pulling them pretty hard. Um, definitely use both brakes or that front brake uh, if you get this bike. So I think that's a pretty good overview. That's the Florence electric trike from Daymac. A couple thousand bucks for the full ride up on this and some other trikes I've checked out. I'll see you back at electricbikereview.com. And of course, ride safe, have fun.